Alright, so this is video two of two, so the job export has been complete. Now we'll hit the check mark here, and then we're just going to select the next field. So we're going to the elevator half, so we'll just scroll down here. Find the elevator half, so we select that, hit the check mark. Now we always name the field the job. This is naming the job now. The variety, so this would be Copeland. And then the crop, barley. And then the year. So we want to do this for every job. So we don't need to put the field name in here because it's already, we already selected it. So this is just, just a job. So we've got a job name. We hit the check mark. Now it's going to ask us to set up the VRC configuration. So we hit this. We want to use shape files. So we hit the arrow again. Now this is a very important step here. We do not want to select the shape files here we want to make sure we go to the thumb drive because the new files are on the thumb drive. So we hit that and then we got to hit the thumb drive again, the thumb drive in the house to bring the files in. And then we look for the folder that says 2017. So all the current prescriptions will be named 2017. If you load any prescription that does not have 2017, it's not the right one. So now we'll see all of them here. We're going to select the elevator half out of the list, 2017. We'll hit the arrow. It's all good to go now. We need to select the source or assign each tank. So the barley or any seed tanks usually are flat rate at this time, so there's no VRC. Then tank two is our PK blend. So we want to select the shape file. Now on the attribute, we need to select PK. K blend so we need to make sure that we have the same blend assigned to the right tank. Now the rescale normally will stay at one and then I usually put a default rate of a hundred or whatever the middle of the range of that that product would be. So that tank set up. Nitrogen we're selecting uh, the RX uh, elevator half again. Select urea. So we want to make sure this is matched up the re at 4600. And in this field here, I'm going to go at a 70% rate of the prescription. In some of the other fields, we will do this. So depending on the field, you have instructions on what rate or rescale number to put in there. And then the default will put in as 100 as well. So before we move forward, we just want to double check that all of these tanks are right and they're assigned the proper values. Once we're sure that's all good, we hit the arrow. It says everything is complete. Hit the check mark. Now we need to do one last step before we go. We need to go here and ensure that on the variable rate tanks, which are the P and K, we hit the A button and turn it to the map for variable rate. And so right now it's showing at that a boundary rate because I'm not in the field yet. I'm just across from the road from it and it should start showing the rates. You also can bring up this little map, the, the layered map here, and go to the VRC map to tank two, and then you'll see now it showed uh, the background layered maps for the variable rate in the field, and you should see the zones changing there. So now that you've got all that complete, you should be good to go.